Hello, Mrs. Crafts third grade. I finally got everything figured out so that we could do our big end of the year painting. I have my canvas and all my paints ready and I got all of your color choices. So we're gonna kind of see how this goes. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Everyone turns out different, right? Different but not less, which is on the, the words of the spot where I put the paintings. So I'm gonna just pour some white on the very outside edge. And, I'll, and you'll know why in just a second. Because then when some of our class colors, if they end up falling off a little bit, <laughs> then just the white will fall off, not so much of our color. Okay, our class really likes turquoise. I think almost half our class picked turquoise. So we're gonna have a lot of turquoise in here, but it's gonna be great because we have a color that represents each member of our class. So first of all, do you think they can see okay? We're gonna pour Mr. Tennyson's turquoise. We're gonna start over here. And we're gonna pour some Tennyson turquoise right here. Good job, Mr. Tennyson. And over here, we're gonna pour Mr. Aiden's turquoise. Sweet. And then we're gonna start in the middle. We have Miss Aubrey's turquoise. And then we only had one student choose pink, and that was Miss Maylie. So Miss Maylie is our pink. And we're going to pour this out a little smaller. And we're going to go back. And then we also had one student that did red. Mr. Mason, here's your red. And we're going to do on this side. And it looks crazy. It looks crazy. And then we had a couple of purples. Miss Skyly was a purple. So we're going to put her, we're going to put a little bit right here. I kind of sound like Bob Ross, huh? And a little bit right here. And then we had another purple that was Jacoby. So Jacoby, this is your purple. And then we had Jaina choose purple, so she's down here. Okay, and then we had some blue greens. We had Aspen pick blue green. So Aspen is right here. And then Mr. Elias picked blue green. So here is Elias's blue green. And then we have more turquoise. This one is Haley's turquoise. And then we have Eve's turquoise. And we're going to do orange. We had a few oranges. Mr. Drew picked orange. So 
We've got Mr. Drew's orange right there. That looks really cool. And Mrs. Croft picked orange. Sweet. And then, ooh, bright blue. We had about four bright blues. We have a Bentley bright blue right here. And then we have an Adam. This is Adam's bright blue. And we have some more turquoise. We have Mr. Tanner's turquoise. And we have Miss Alexis. Another bright blue, we have Whitley it's right here. And then our other bright blue is Jet over here. Then we have another orange. Mr. Riso picked orange. And Miss Sarah picked orange. There is our orange. And then we have two more teals. We have Miss Avery, or turquoise, I mean Avery. And Miss Carly. Okay, so I have a little bit of room left in here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit of silver in here. Do a little bit more white. I'm going to put a little bit of white in between here. I want to fill up the whole thing. Then, let's see, I'm going to put some of this white. This is like a shinier white. I'm going to fill in some of our spots. take the pink again. I'm going to go back over this one more time. And our red. That looks good. So here's what we're going to do. We are just going to tip it a little bit so that the paint comes down and covers all of the edges. So I'm going to just do a little bit more. I'm going to use my little 
No, I need like my little silver scraper thing for a second. Anybody, anybody? We're going to use a little tool and to kind of get these to spread. So I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to spread these a little bit. And if I press down a little bit, then it will be easier to fill in. Okay. Looks a little crazy, but it looks pretty cool. Cool how it all moves, huh? Takes a minute, huh? I should put some music on in the background. Maybe you should start singing if you want. Yeah. So this looks pretty cool. And I probably could leave it like this. And it does look pretty neat. A little more light right here. Okay, this looks really cool, but I have a little, one more thing that I want to do. So you can see that there's this big blank spot right here. We had a really great year. Then we had something happen, right? So this black paint is gonna be our COVID. We're gonna put over here, Kelly, we need that piece of paper right there. We're gonna put a whole bunch of black up here. 
because at first, boy, we didn't know what to think. We didn't get to come to class. We didn't get to do some of our end of the year activities that we usually do. And that was kind of frustrating. So the black, when we talk about symbolism, like when we talk about it in our books, this is our COVID right here. Fill in all of our spots. And we're going to fill in the edge. Can't forget our corners. So here's what we're gonna do that's kind of cool. I'm gonna take this paper towel and I'm gonna catch some of the black with it. And I'm gonna put that COVID all over our painting. It looks like it might ruin it. looks cool. Okay, so here's where it gets interesting. We took that COVID and we kind of drug it because it kind of had a big impact on our year, right? But look what's happening. Our class was awesome. We did so much good work that so many of our colors are starting to shine through. Even though this COVID came and it kind of Put an interesting spin onto our year. Look at all these cool colors that are popping up through. So here's what I'm going to do. If I want even more of those bubbles to come through, I'm going to use this special tool. This is just going to put out a little tiny, tiny, tiny flame. And if I'm careful and I go like this, then I will get more of those things to pop up. Because it's popping the air bubbles in my painting. What do you guys think, huh? So this is the video of what it looks like. And then I will post another video of what it looks like when it dries. So we'll see if it changes at all. But all of this color that came through the black, that's you guys being awesome. Even though we had kind of a crazy year. So when this is all dry and ready to go, I'll put it up in my classroom when you come back to Morgan Elementary. You can come in and see what it looks like. Bye, guys.